This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm doing their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Functions with Parameters. Star Chaser. All the stars loop. But you can still only catch the red star. Do this. Use the code from the move red star function to make move star color function that can move any star, right? So we're going to get rid of the hard-coded red idea and we're going to use a parameter so we can call the function so we can ask the computer to run that function and we'll put in for color the color we actually want it to use the code from check red star function to make the check star color function that works for any star ah move star check star test your code by calling check star red and check star blue inside the event block okay so our event block is up here he is here, right? So inside that, got it. Let's first work on those functions. Move star red. So I know I want this just to be move star. I'm going to hit over. Pops up and add color because color is going to be the variable type thing. It's a parameter that we use. So now I'm going to get word of the, rid of the word red, both here and here, and replace it with color. Because that way, when I ask this function to run by calling it, like I do move, uh, that's move player, what did I do? Move star. But uh, move star is going to be, uh, one sec, we'll check where we call that. But let's do, it might be in check call. Checks red star. Check red star. Check red star. Aha, and there's our move star. So now I want to use this, but I want to get rid of red. Delete. And I'm going to hit this over button so I can add a parameter. And we can add whatever we want here. So they say call it on red. And then they also suggest calling it on blue. And this is asking it to run that function. If detect hit red. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Got it. Okay. Got it. So, we need to add a parameter to check red star. We're going to change this from red just to be check star now, because we can do more than just the red star. And we added the parameter color. Color. I'm just going to get rid of everywhere it says red, because we want it to be more versatile than that. And now we can do more well than just red. And then check star. So when we call check star and put in a word for color, it's going to do the detect hit function color. And so it's going to check if there's a hit. If that comes back true, it's going to drop into our if statement. It's then going to run move star color. So whatever we put in for color, we're going to put in red at first and then blue. And it will drop down. It will run this, it will change the, it will move that color of star, I guess, and then it's going to act accordingly. And each time we hit, it will run again. So now we want to call it, we don't want to call check red star, we want to call, oops, check star, and now we need the color. So they suggest red first, and then we're going to do check star blue. And let's try it out. Oh, whoops. Oh, it's blue. Oh, no. Oh, and I'm gone. All right, let's reset. I'd hope if I was slightly better at this. Whoa! As I said. <laughs> but, uh, oh! It is kind of fun, though. Oh, is that how? <laughs> it did get a hit on blue. Perfect. Let's keep going. 